continue the second part of Life Science Stories. Not only five, but ten stories we're gonna read. So stay tuned and please watch it till the end. We're pretty sure that you're gonna learn something new today. So what are we waiting for? Take it away, Ate, and you go first. Okay, so Bessie, please sit back and relax. And just listen, or you can just read with us if you want. Life Science Stories by Andrew Finkel Mountains Earth has a lot of mountains. Mountains cover about one-fourth of all land. Mountains come in many sizes. Mountains are made of rocks. Mountain or alpine habitats change the higher up you climb. At the bottom of mountains, you might have grasslands and forests. As you move up the mountains, the plants and animals slowly disappear. Animals like mountain goats, birds, and snow leopards make their homes in the trees and grasses of mountains. High up the trees do not grow anymore. Many of the tallest mountains have ice or snow on top of them for part or all of the year. The snow and ice melts in hotter parts of the year. The water runs downhill to rivers and lakes. Insects. Insects are a kind of animal. Insects are also known as bugs. Insects can be found all over the world. Crickets, ants, grasshoppers, butterflies, ladybugs, and bees are some common insects. Insects are invertebrates, so they do not have backbones. They have exoskeletons. This means they have their bones on the outside, like a shell, that makes them similar to crustaceans. Some insects, like butterflies, can change as they grow. Insects always have six legs. If something has eight legs, like a spider, it is not an insect. Insects usually have three body segments. The head is where the eyes, mouth, and brains are. The thorax is where the legs and wings connect. The abdomen is where the guts and organs are. Deserts Earth has a lot of deserts. Deserts make up about one-third of all land. There are deserts on all seven continents. These places can be cold or hot, but they are always dry. Hot deserts are sandy places, like the Sahara Desert in Africa. Some deserts don't get any rain for a whole year. Others get less than 10 inches per year. When it does rain, Special desert plants drink the water up quickly. There can even be flowers. Animals have adapted to life in an area with very little water. Usually we think of deserts as sandy hot places. There are some cold deserts too. Some cold deserts are high in the mountains. Others are near the ocean. The two largest deserts in the world are the North and South Poles, and they are very cold. Arctic and Tundra Earth has a few very cold habitats. It is very hard for plants and animals to live in these areas. The Arctic and Antarctic areas are at the top and bottom of our world. These areas are called the North and South Poles. They are covered with ice and snow. But it doesn't rain or snow very often. 
It does not get warm enough to melt all of the ice. Very few plants or animals can live here. Tundra and taiga are near the poles. Snow and ice melt for a month or two. Some plants and trees might grow here during those warmer months. Animals that live here have to adapt to live here. They might have extra fat to keep them warm. They might migrate or move when it gets too cold. It is a hard life in these areas. Mammals Mammals are a kind of animal. Mammals can be found all over the world, on land or in the sea. Dogs, cats, cows, monkeys, and whales are common mammals. People are mammals too. Mammals are vertebrates, so they have backbones. They are the only kind of animal with fur or hair, except for some insects. Most mammals have four legs and a tail. Some mammals have two arms and two legs. Marine mammals that live in water, like whales or dolphins, have fins and a tail. Mammals all feed their babies milk. Other types of animals, like fish or reptiles, can't make milk. Mammals are warm-blooded, just like birds. This means their bodies can make their own heat from food they eat. Fish Fish are a kind of animal. Fish can be found in rivers, lakes, swamps, seas, and oceans. Fish always need water to live. Perch, sunfish, bluegill, salmon, trout, and tuna are some common fish. Fish are vertebrates, so they have backbones. They have scales, just like reptiles. Like reptiles and amphibians, fish are cold-blooded. They get warm or cold depending on how hot or cold the water around them is. Fish have special body parts to help them live in water. Fish have gills to breathe air from the water. They do not have hands and feet. Instead, they have lots of fins to help them swim. Many fish also have swim bladders, so they do not sink. Funguses Funguses are important living things. Funguses are not plants or animals. They are kind of in between. Common funguses include molds, mushrooms, and toadstools. Funguses are like plants for a few reasons. They don't walk or move. They have something like roots called mycelium. Some funguses look like vegetables too. You can eat some funguses like mushrooms, but many of them can make you sick. Funguses are like animals because they eat or consume their food. They usually live on dead things. They eat dead plants or animals. They are nature's recyclers. They do not make their own food from sunlight like plants do. In fact, some mushrooms even grow in the dark. Grasslands Earth has lots of grasslands. Grasslands usually have very few trees. Grasslands can have lots of animals. Many of them like to eat grass. A savanna is a warm or tropical grassland area. The grasses can be very tall. This is good for animals to hide in. Many animals eat the grass too. Animals like elephants, zebras, and lions 
might live in a savanna. Temperate grasslands, like prairies and steppes, might seem like large grassy fields. But the grasses get much taller. The animals that live in the grasslands must use the grass. They eat the grass, hide in the grass, and make their homes in the grass. Buffalo, wolves, owls, and bugs might live in a grassland. Wetlands Earth has some very damp habitats. Wetlands are very important areas for animals and plants. Wetlands are also important for people and lands. Wetlands are swamps, bogs, and marshes. Unlike lakes and rivers, there aren't waves. The water sits still. Wetlands are humid places full of animals and plants. Some of these plants and animals find their ways into rivers, lakes, and seas. Wetlands help clean the water. They also help prevent flooding. Wetlands are full of life. They have many trees and grasses, many alligators, turtles, snakes, birds, frogs, bugs, and fish make homes in wetlands. There are more types of animals in wetlands than in any other type of habitat. Classifying Classifying is a way of sorting things. When you sort things by how they look, you are classifying. You are also classifying if you sort things into groups that are similar. You can classify anything. If we classify animals, we might sort them many ways. We can sort by how many legs they have. We can sort by size, shape, and color. We can sort them by if they have fur, scales, or feathers. We can sort by what kind of place they call home. There are so many ways to classify animals. If we classify plants, we can sort them many ways too. We can sort them by their sizes, shapes, and colors. We can sort by if they make flowers or fruits. We can sort by where they are found or what kinds of leaves they have. There are many ways to classify plants. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Happy watching! Happy sharing! See you again in our next videos! Stay connected, Beshies! Nicole Lijan Channel!